Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It's free for you and means the world to me. So let's get started. All right, so I have a little baby haul here for you. I figured I might as well film it and show you everything that I got. First up is what's on my nails, and this is Nail Reserves, Ocean's Heart. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, just look at that color. Um, if you want to pick it up for yourself, um, Nail there is a link and a coupon code down in the description box. So make sure you use that coupon code because it's 50% off on lots and lots of money. All right. Um, Savvy Land brushes. I bought these off of Amazon because my blender brush is like dead. It looks, it's chunky and I don't know what I did to it, but it's terrible. So... I was just pretty much looking for just a cheap brush, you know, because the one that I have now was a super cheap brush. And I found out that this set of six was cheaper than this set of six was cheaper to buy than just buying one of the ombre, br ombre brushes. So um, I showed you the rose gold handle there or pink aluminum it's super smooth I mean it looks like it's crinkly and stuff but it's super smooth um so six brushes came in this set this is a flat headed gel brush so there's that one and I'm yes I'm putting them all away because I don't know why it's just stupid but they <laughs> yeah I don't know I'm putting them all away don't ask me and this is the ombre brush that I said that I wanted. They're very light brushes. So just so that you know, I'll put a towel behind it so you can actually see the shape of the head. Nice and pretty. That will work fantastic. Okay, next up we have this little kind of mini brush. It's mostly used for like flower petals and stuff when you um, when you do like the short and then thick and then thin, thin, short, thin, thick, thin, you know, like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that is generally what it's used for or if you want a thicker brush for some detail work. Okay, there's that one. Okay, and next up we have a gel brush with a rounded head. These aren't like super firm or super soft or anything like that. They're a little bit thick, like the gel brushes are a little bit thick, but they're probably about a medium consistency and they all seem like really nice brushes. So, this other one. Ugh. <laughs> pulling all the packaging off and this is a nice detailer brush it's got a little bit of glue still in it it's like a medium length detailer brush it's pretty nice okay the next one is an angle brush um i think this will i generally use all my angle brushes as kind of cleanup brushes it's a little bit stiffer than the others so it would probably work well as a cleanup brush. And that is all of the brushes from the Savvy Lane set. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I think it was only $6.99. If I can find it, I'll leave it in the description box below. The link. Yeah, I'm going to leave the link, not the actual product. Okay. <laughs> all right. And next up, um, Young Nails was having a really big sale, and so I picked up just a few things, not a ton. Um, first up is one of their newer um, gel paints. 
And of course they have the top on, icky. I shouldn't say icky because I am really glad that they put these tops on there. However, it is a royal pain to try and get them off. So I'll be right back. I'll get this off. Well, that was a mess. <laughs> I tell you what. All right. So snail mail is, you know, you guys, <laughs> it is the U.S. mail blue. It, it really is. So the U.S. Postal Service, you know, it's their blue. It's basically just a medium blue with just a touch of gray in it. So, and I really enjoy the Young Nails gel paints. So I, you know, if you need a, you know, U.S. mail blue then here it is <laughs> just a little bit grayed out blue so that's what that is are you done writing now can i can i move on no nope, you have to get that dot in high all right is that good enough there you go hi all right, with this next few things, I'm gonna use Young Nails Nail Liquid and something I forgot that I got <laughs> is this, um, whatchamacallit, brush lid. It's a black brush lid for the Young Nails Artistic Brush. And I didn't get this brush in this haul. I've had this one for actually quite some time and I have one or two backups. I'm not really sure, but I know that, you know, the last time I had this brush for like two years, I want to say, and then I messed it up like really bad. You know, I had left it out and it had, it was full of acrylic and then I tried cleaning it just by like scraping it and, oh, I wrecked it. I ruined it and they didn't have any on hand. So it took me forever to get that brush again. So I, yeah. I have backup. I have two backups, I think. So don't you worry about that. Okay, so this are their slick pour, which basically is their dip system acrylic and colored acrylic. This one is called Jade Smoke. I think they were on sale for like three dollars a piece. It was just crazy. But there was only certain ones and I got to the sale late so a lot of them were already sold out. But we're going to go ahead and use them as acrylics today just to play around and see how they look. Okay, so we have Jade Smoke here. And I'm just going to put it on the top of the swatch stick so we know kind of how it moves and how she works just kind of patting and pulling not really in any sort of hurry as you can tell just kind of making sure my brush has enough liquid on there or still has liquid in there so that it doesn't stick I'm wiping it off to make sure that it is not dirty so keeping my brush clean put a little another bead on there just so that i don't pull it into nothingness because you don't want to pull it so that it's so thin that you can see through it that's not the point and now i have way too much on there. <laughs> nice and i'm just you know messing around off screen all right yeah, no amount of messing around with that is going to take to make it any better. You still have far too much product on. You should have pulled that product off before, but whatever. <laughs> it is a nice color. It works great. Um, this is Wine Flow. All right. Now, this one was kind of a pain in the butt, actually. It is a marbler, and it dries super fast <laughs> so 
better be pretty quick on the uptake when you're playing with this one. I honestly would probably just stick to dipping with this one because if it's going to marble and dry really fast, it's almost impossible to mix it up enough to... <laughs> That didn't help when I had a dry, dry bead to begin with. But, I mean, for it to dry too quickly to mix up, if you know what I'm saying, um, it's just not going to work very well at all. So, yeah, my suggestion would be just use it for dip nails, and that's probably all that I will use it for as well get that little extra bit there and try and make this swatch stick look presentable good luck <laughs> all right last but certainly not least we have jazz note if you saw that while i was flipping it around probably not this one actually i thought this one worked the absolute best but quite frankly the first one jade smoke that was more user error than anything else. It's just that that was the first nail of the day. And you know, the first nail of the day is never as good as the last nail of the day. Just the way it is. Um, yeah, this one, Jazz Note worked beautifully. <laughs> I had way too much on my brush, of course. I'm just kind of taking that out of there. But this one kind of... it worked a little wetter than the others so just know that you know each one's gonna have its own little how-to and what it wants to do this was my little mini haul for you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a like and if you're not already please do consider subscribing and i will see you again next time bye